one of my subscriber has requested me to make a twister game in powerpoint so with his request i made this particular game in powerpoint and i'm not so sure exactly how this game works but let me just show you how this particular slide works in powerpoint as you can see here there's an arrow here and there's a spin button and then you have got some information called left foot right hand right foot and left hand and when i click the spin button this arrow will start spinning and again on click of the same button it will stop spinning so let me just show you when i click spin you can see here spin and when i click again it stops again you can see here like this you can do a fun game with students or you can play among yourself as friends so this is very interesting and very fun game in powerpoint and if you have not subscribe to my channel powerpoint university please do it now as well as make sure to enable the bell notification icon and share and like my channel powerpoint university and if you like to contribute to my channel you can pay through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides then go to insert shapes select the rectangle and uh, I'm going to height and width. I'm going to make as maybe 7.11 or 7.10, whatever. And then shape outline, make it no outline and align center, align middle. So you got a perfect uh, a square shape here. And then press Control D to duplicate. And I'm going to give some different color here and hold the shift key, reduce the size a little bit. And then again, align center, align middle then i'm going to add one oval shape so that i can add the uh, the circles or the bubbles there for that go to insert shapes select the basic shape from the select the oval from the basic shape hold the shift key and depending on the requirement you can make it then again align center align middle you can see here and shape fill make it no fill here and if you want to further increase again you can hold Control shift key and you can increase the size you can see here you can do something like this then i'm going to add a different color uh, oval shapes here go to insert shapes select the oval shape and just click it here and i'm just going to put it here one shape outline make it no outline press Control d to duplicate so this is the way i'm just going to add it one by one Control D again. You can see here I can just do the Control D. And if the size is not enough, in that case, what you can do is I can just further reduce the size a little bit. Maybe this is okay. And then I can rearrange it so that it matches perfectly. You can see here it is matching perfectly. And then just and then once this is done. I can give some different color combinations for example I'm going to start with say red then I'm going to give a green color then some kind of a yellow and here I'm going to give a blue color combination so then I'm just going to select all these four press ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate bring the other side just rotate it you can see here and then just put it make sure that it is properly aligned again press ctrl d add it at the bottom if it is not aligned properly then you can align it later also not a problem so let me just rotate it so you can see here this way you can just add the let me just make it somewhat perfect near to perfect at least yeah so this is done the bubbles has been added now it's time to add the spinning arrow here so let me just make this color somewhat lighter i can just make it maybe select this color then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the arrow you can see the arrow up draw the arrow depending on your requirement maybe this much size again align center align the middle and if you are using a new version of powerpoint then you can add one more shape something like this i'll show you how it works 
I can go to insert shapes and I'm going to select this one which is the Aero Chevron just make it maybe this much size again rotate it you can see here rotate left 90 degrees increase the size a little bit and then I'm just going to attach something like this you can see here I can select both of these align center align not middle align center only and shape outline make it no outline so it looks like this so what I'm going to do I'm going to select this and this merge shape union if you are using the latest version only then only do it otherwise merge uh, shapes are not available in 2007 or 2010 in, in 2010 it is there but you need to enable it so anyway I'm just going to align center now align middle and I'm going to give maybe a red color here so the next thing I'm just going to insert one small kind of a, a screw there so let me just select uh, maybe this one you can see here the summing junction draw a small one by holding the shift key you can see here maybe this much size and shape fill make it white and right mouse click go to format shape and I'm going to give a 3d here can you see a 3d look so it looks like this something and then I can give some shadow effect also and let me just uh, remove this uh, guides here so it looks something like this and then one more thing which we need to do here is go to insert shapes and I'm going to select one rectangle which is again I'm going to add exactly in the center align center align middle you can see here you can give maybe the same color or different color depending on your choice and then again send this to back you can see here and then press ctrl d rotate i can just rotate it again align center align middle again this also send this to back this should have done before we create this bubble but anyway now you can see here we have added this four uh, uh, kind of a square looks like now now uh, it's time to add some text here where we are saying the right hand left hand right foot and leg foot so let me just add the text go to insert text box i'm just going to say this is right hand and any font of your choice you can choose maybe i'm just going to put right hand here Control d to duplicate and this is right foot press Control d and i'm going to talk about this is left hand and then let me just arrange uh, align to left and press Control D and I'm going to talk about here the left foot and if you're using the latest version of PowerPoint you can go to insert icons and you can just select the icons here you can see here if I just go and scroll down I got the foot here then if I go further down I get the hand here something it is available here yeah just insert it you can see here so i'm just going to this is the left hand press ctrl d and then i'm just going to rotate it you can see here this is this becomes the right hand and this is the left foot ctrl d and this becomes the right foot now I'm going to add a button here go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle make it somewhat curve you put it here shape you can give some dark color or light gray color and you can give some 3d look here and then I'm just going to say spin here and this spin make the font visible make it maybe black increase the size if you want you can make it bold also so now the last thing which I want to do is I want to just change this pattern uh, so select the picture or texture fill from the texture I'm going to select maybe this one or if you want you can select the lighter also and then you can just select this and give some shadow effect you can see here I can just increase the distance so the shadow effect has been created so 
what I'm going to do is when I click on the spin, this particular arrow should spin and when I click again on the spin, it should stop. So for that, so go to select selection pane and this pin button name, I'm just going to change this one. You can see here, I'm going to change to spin button. You can see here and this arrow also name, I can just change to the spin arrow you can see here then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this go to the animations enable the animation pane and from add animation i'm going to select spin can you see here it started spinning and then double click here the timings i'm going to make it maybe it's very fast if you want we can just make it maybe 0.3 or 0 0.2 and repeat this is very important repeat you have to say until end of the slide okay and this should happen when i click the spin button so go to the triggers start effect on scroll it down you can see here the spin button select this okay so what happens here if i play you can see here it started spinning now I want to stop the spinning again at the time of clicking the spin button, the same button. So what I'm going to do again, I'm going to select this arrow, add animation, just click on appear, appear again, this also bring it down. Okay. So let me just show you how it works. When I click spin, you can see here, stop, stop again, spinning, you can see here. So it started and spinning according to its whenever you click it will stop you can see here like this so this is the simplest way you can do this uh, twister game